Did you ever happen to notice that everybody in the Wizard of Oz got to sing a big number except for me? Well, uh, of course, I, I still have the number that I was... Oh, all right, I'll do it for you. <laughs> it's called I'm a Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just get it over with. I, I, I never, uh, I never felt at home here in, in Lewis. I was born here. But I never felt at home. I never felt comfortable. I, I, I never felt like I... I, I felt at home here. With you. coming out west was a solution? You really thought that it would... I don't know. I don't know what kind of magical pioneer land you expected, but this is just some stupid town. It's just... Look. You need to understand something. I can't help you. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was in the winter of my senior year. And then in the spring, something happened to me. I remember. I fell in love with James Tyrone. And I was so happy for the time. Jeremy had things he preferred to keep to himself, and we all do. Ultimately, we all remember him as a wonderfully straightforward guy who left us far too soon. That was so great! Good, right? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> you really captured the essence of the person while also making him seem like a less weird, more likable person than he was. Classic <laughs> eulogy. <laughs> well, I couldn't have done without you. Yeah. Well, I'm so proud of you. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I'm a professional. Art. It's a small town, Millie. Mm. It's small. It's oppressive and intolerant, and people can't say what they think or be who they really are, and all the restaurants downtown close at like 2 p.m., and I'm here eulogizing a family that didn't think my dad was good enough, which meant I wasn't gonna be good enough, which meant my mom had to move away before I was born. That's what a small town is. Millie. <laughs>